Good morning, everybody. Good afternoon, good evening. It's a beautiful day in Manchester, Pennsylvania. And today, we're going to be looking at Catacomb Kids. Um, this game I've actually had in my library for quite a while. It is a, it is like a 2D version of Dark Souls. I've never played Dark Souls. But the, <laughs> I've seen several people play it, and one of my friends, actually. It's like their, their favorite game, just because of the sheer difficulty of it. This game has, like... So, no... It, I would say no roguelite aspects to it whatsoever. Besides, we're going to start as the bully. So it tells you the brief history of these characters as you go down. Basically, you're you're bad kids, and they threw you down to the dungeon, and you have no choice but to go down. Going up, I guess, it's just not an option. So the bully is the combat character. You have the wanderer, who is a uh, more of a speed kind of character, but that can get him in trouble. The poet is your general mage. Uh, that's what I'm getting out of the tinker. I have no idea. Those fascinating with technology are drawn to the catacombs by tales of magnificent contraptions and there's long lost knowledge. These curious kids seek to rediscover ancient technology and maybe make some coin along the way. Has a flying robot pet. Seems neat. Wheel spell books as weapons. Visualize the world and track items. Alert nearby enemies and gain power strikes. So they have the ability. Every character has a different ability. This one taunts. This one tra can track items if you're looking for. Um, different things. This one has like an additional weapon. They wield spell books as weapons, and I'm not sure about the flying robot. But we're going to start out as the bully, and as you can see, you have a you have a choice when you start. There's a bunch of randomly generated characters. And I usually look at the hit points, and then you look at the bottom left-hand corner, like Miss Vicky Brownson here, is a bad swimmer, very loud, and hungry, which means you you can also get like as you progress, you can get rid of these maladies as well. Uh, the bad swimmer means she can't hold her breath very long. Loud, whenever she hits the ground, she loves enemies, which can be very very detrimental. She starts with the magical weapon, jagged axe of force. Axe of force, like each each weapon also has like an element associated with this. So the force literally will push them away. Um, damaged war, like if you look at a. Uh, Francis Lure here. He has a shield, which means he has defensive capabilities, but he has a damaged war hammer. It's not this four. Four is just about standard. Good with hammers, which means he has an additional, like, skill to start out with. Minus two speed, which is not very good. Um, defense means to start with a shield. Breath holder, he can stay underwater a little bit longer. So I like the... Honestly, I'm a fan of the dagger character, but the three health, even on, like, floor one, there are enemies that can one-shot you. Good with axes and likes axes. Hungry. Hungry means when you eat food. Um, no, no, no. You consume food faster. You need to eat to stay alive. Messy eater, I think, means when you eat, you don't get health from it. Something like that, or you have a chance not to. But you start with a potato. I mean, that's good, right? I don't know. I think I'm going to go with the dagger person. And their stats are great. All we got to do is not get hit, right? Dagger of rending. So I think the rending means you. <laughs> hack off limbs of the opposing characters. We're going to go with Brunhilda Wilson as we dive down to the catacombs here. So we can, uh, there's a couple things about this song. There's, uh, okay, the, the, the whole, the overarching, uh, mechanics of the game is, is, you know, it's 2D. The dagger is, like, no range, so we pick things up. You can eat them, you can, you have one storage slot. I'm going to eat the ball of goo, because when you get to your, your max level there, to get to the, the amount of things eaten. I hope I don't. I was gonna say, I hope I don't go down there and just uh, we'll stash that. And we'll eat our potato. Delicious. You can uh, you can actually have stuff like that roll into you, like the um. You see, everything is interactive, but you can have that 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 block down there roll into you. Right now, I can't pick it up. There's actually a perk you can get later on, which enables you to lift heavy things. There, is, like, this game is in depth. It's a uh, okay. Those guys can one shot me. So let's get. No, no, we need to get down, get to a point where it's, like, narrow. I can use my dagger ability, which I don't have. I thought it was a different character, so we might just die right here. We severed his arm. You can hop on their heads, too, which we failed to do. Every corpse can be looted. I'm also not used to this, uh... Just kidding, we're dead. <laughs> that's how e That's it, that's it. That's how easy it takes. So I can... I get coins, and when the coins... I believe the coins let you, uh... Like, reshuffle this... this load right here. So we're going to <sighs> smooth jagged axe. Like spears. Magical weapon. Spear V, we light them on fire. Breath holder. A spear is a way better weapon because you have the range. The dagger's awesome. I think you need for myself I need uh I need to get well that was bad. You'd never want to jump into the darkness like that. The you need a, a bit of range and you need the uh, the first level dagger perk you can that's a potion of flames. Hello, my friend. Would you do you wish to come up here? He's mighty. He had a potion of might, and he drank it. 
you coming up? You gonna die to the fire? I mean, that is acceptable. We have a chest. And the, the, the randomization here is pretty cool. Uh, we want our strength. I don't really care about the speed so much. So you can, you can grab them, you can loot their corpse. They have shoes. We also have shoes. Sharp Saber looks pretty good. But I think I'm gonna stick with our Spear of Heat. And we're gonna eat them. If you eat enough of these guys, something happens. That... Oh yeah, we're a messy eater. <laughs> we're something. Now let's pick it up and throw it to somebody. We're a Like, we're a, we're a bad... <laughs> so sometimes eating things will, uh, will actually hurt us. Or maybe you're just not allowed to eat the, the Grundles anymore. So let's, uh... If you hold down, it's a whole, uh... Like Super Mario Brothers 2, and you hold down, you get to you jump higher. So that's a might potion. We don't want to mess with that guy anymore, but we do want to drink him and take his power. So we hit the ball. Alright, don't eat skeletons also. Was that something of force? Cracked shield of force. We might as well take that, because I think that'll, uh... Like, usually you have a roll attack. Like, this will be your roll. But instead, it's a, I think it's a bash, and it will actually move enemies away. So, fighting bats, no big deal. Fighting slimes, no big deal. Fighting... Now, if you eat stuff that's burning, like, that's a melting ball of goo. That will hurt us. Like, it will actually, like, disintegrate in our stomachs. So, let's, uh, is there a map button here? No. No, I don't want to do that. Can we, can we get out of that? Okay, good. Ball of slime. Eating it up. The, uh, the thing, that goes to the next floor, I believe. So, what we want to look for, in every floor, there's a leveling orb. We want to level. As you level, you get stronger, you get to, you know, the idea is to make it down to fight the final boss. So there's the leveling orb. I'm not sure what the final boss is. I never, I, like, I make it okay far in this game. Um, a friend of mine actually made it very far in this game. There's, there's a, that did not heal us. This will heal us, right? But uh, there's, like, ice levels, and the, the game really has some, uh, some great potential. So we're the bully. We should probably go with strength. We want to one-hit everything. So we can roll, bash, and attack, pounce on fools, or we can grab and throw enemies, or we're unburdened by heavy items. So we can pick up boulders now. I know I'm mine. That's right. What he said. So we're done. We you know what? We should not spend any more time here than we really need to. Let's find out what this potion is. Though. We can probably throw it in this bat. Yeah. Potion of ice. Good to know. It kind of has the binding of ice a aspect, where, where as far as the like the pills and stuff go, you want to. Uh, the only way you really know what the stuff does is if you either consume it, which you know if you consume a. Um, Oh, that was almost bad. If you consume... I think you can take these too, yeah? If you consume a, um... A pill... Get over here. I thought it would light him on fire. I was absolutely correct, incorrect. Yeah. We have range on it. Yeah. We can do this. Yeah! <laughs> every day is a winding road. No, every time it's, uh... So we got a robe. Every time you, uh, fight somebody, it's like... Okay, well, you got nothing. Can I eat you? We're gonna find out here. Delicious. Don't eat the bones. They, they get a little stuck in your throat. It does eat the, the ability. We need to get some health. Like, if they, if we need to... What am I going this way for? We need to get some hit points. So this is, uh... There are traps everywhere in this game, and yes, that does one-shot you. There's a whole bunch of stuff like that. This is, uh... I think a chest over here? No, just a generic. Run through your luck, brother. Alright, well... We, <laughs> we're down to just basically be one-shotted again. Hoya! Potion of ice? The rats steal things. Now let's, um... Save you for later. Oh, sorry. Runic Megaton. So that is just like the biggest hammer on earth. How can I not take that? We take the potion away, so we hold it for later. So we see a grumble. That's what those other guys were. And we will, um. You know, I, am, I am being silly. We need to keep the Spear of Heat. Because when we fight a grumble, we want him to. We want to run away and burn. So there's a. Uh, spell book. We have very, like, from what I understand, we have the, a horrible ability to use spells, because we are the bully. Push is pretty good. Uh, once Dryad has a useless, this basic spell now is favorite range and mages who used to keep their opponents at a distance. We want to learn that. We're going to learn push. push. So now, we can uh, hit the left bumper, and that will enable our push spell, which will be good. Potion of Flames, thank you very much. See you later. He's burning. Let's not get also caught on fire. <laughs> you can also do the Mario jump thing, which is pretty nice. We'll take a ball of goo. I'm hoping to get my one hit point back. Charred dead bat. I think if they're once they're done being smoldered, you can. The chard is like they're too far gone. You, ooh, that was bad. See, this is why you don't uh, just jump into the the nothingness, because you might 
You might get exactly what you deserve there. I'll take the orange potion. Offer it to our slime buddy. Just kidding. He emptied himself down there. Potion of Invisibility. So if you throw potions down there, if they're ice, you can actually freeze the lava. There's a lot of great game mechanics in this. As far as, uh... You can hear the leveling ones. As far as like the thought out process and, and things interacting, there's also like a like a gas and a air mechanic here with a tornado spell, and so I see it over there. Like there's a there is a map button here. Okay, hit start. So we need to go down, like right down and around, right? Something like that. Can we take this torch and just light this stuff on fire? No. We need to break this open. There we go. I thought there were popcorn seeds in there, but so was wrong. Right. That did not heal us. So we that's that's some there's some arrows, thank goodness. So that's a malady we have to uh we munch on the ball of slime, I get it. Help. Like going down there with our two health is basically insta death. So we need to where are we at? We need to go up and to the left, and then down. Okay. It's a bit confused as to where my, my character was going here. So we have to get back through this uh, this joyous jumping escapade. Alright, we did it. We're amazing. So I can hear it already. And that's another potion of, that's a potion of invisibility. So we'll take this, we'll drink it. We can't see ourselves now. Drop the bottle. We can you can hold a lot of stuff in the uh, in there as well, the the bottles. So we gotta these mushrooms have produce a poison cloud. And if you stay too long in it, your your health will just uh like fill with Oh no! We'll fill with green bars. Oh <laughs> uh, I don't know. Magic? The, like the push is my you see how that there, there's a green bar down there? If they fill up, um you'll get poison, you'll start taking poison damage. We should go Energy regen. Attack speed, we should go speed. Speed sounds great. Sprint up walls? Why wouldn't we do that? Okay, let's get off there. You can literally be pulled up into that trap. What's that? Pulled up into that trap, and then it'll just crush you on the ceiling. So we need to... Let's make it up here? No. So we can roll and then jump like that. Very good. There's there's a lot of little nuances with these mechanics. Like, please don't die here. You gotta, sometimes you got to talk yourself through this. But there, this, this game, the development here, the progression, you can tell they're really into it. The last update I saw was from uh, April... You know, it's not like, you know, daily updates or anything, but there is still life in the game. I want to get over here, and then we want to go to the next floor. Ideally, what I want to do is see if I can make it to a boss. I don't think it's going to happen. You never know. Alright. So, like, you want to you wanna take a second and just assess the situation, because there, there are times when you'll just be in the middle of, like, five, five or six... What was that? Slime entry? I'm very confused. This adds to our defense. We should probably pick that up. Defense is good. You can hear, like, some blocks moving over here. So we have a skeleton monster we gotta fight. If I hit L, I can push him. Okay, well, if he comes back up here, we push him away. I hope that trap killed him. That would be ideal. But you can hear the stones moving there, so that was the trap. This sword right here, I believe, lets us improve ourselves. So help me... I want to get rid of the hunger thing. Waste not. No, no, no. Meals heal for plus one and potions last longer. That sounds nice. And remove messy eater. Can we do that? Yes. So, oh, that was it. We just... So now we, we get more out of meals. We're going to have the opposite of what we were to start with. Like in the, so we did kill that, uh, that skeleton. That was good. We go the other way here. We might as well take out our potion of ice. What's this potion of invisibility? It's another potion of ice? Well, why wouldn't we? I see some chests over there, but I know if I stand here, that's going to happen. <laughs> Ride it up to victory, I guess? You can also get killed there. Um, so we'll drop you. No. no we're going we're gonna to throw you. With that button. <laughs> and it, okay, at least we can see what's, what's going on there. Boost boots! Equip the boost boots. So we can go up here. Yes. Runic, robe, runic robe looks great, but we are definitely not a magic user, so this is just not going to apply to us. Again, going down to the ether, bad idea. See, see what I mean? You are a punk. You 
little... That was bad. Oh my goodness, and that's it! You're dead! <laughs> like, the game is unforgiving. Um, yeah, we'll try again. We'll go with the poet. The poet has magic. Magic is amazing. I'm just gonna look at the, uh, the magic... Oh my god, look at that guy! He is... just a bruiser. Six health. But look at this. It's so bad. Clumsy. I'm mean, clumsy means you trip. Super Smash Brothers brawl anybody? Like he just trips. That's all. He, that's all he has. So Magic 101. I think it has a basic attack spell. Magic combat. I think that's what we're gonna go with. He's an art. Nah, I don't like Archer. Archer's okay. It's just it's not my style. Again, vampirism. So you can suck health from enemies. He has three hit points. This oh, clumsy. So bad. I don't. I don't care if you hate daggers. I like Wizard Through. Deadly Distance sounds great. We're going with this guy, Brandon Smiths. You will make it at least to floor like one. We can see a little bit better. Some sometimes you get armor and stuff that okay. His attacks aren't, aren't the best. Sometimes you get armor and stuff that help out. So we got wizard throw, right? No, no, no. There we go. Just throw him back and forth, and that was it. That was the end of his life. That wasn't the. That's not the most glamorous spell. So let's uh. Like, how do we use this up here? I used to know this. But, well, that's how you throw it. You, you don't don't hold on to a burning book. You just lost your spell. All right. Well, we'll showcase that later. I'm sure we'll find another spell book somewhere. Maybe. Venomous jacket. That means enemies get poisoned. But we also will maybe get poisoned if we like jump in a water. That's a potion of poison. Hey. Oh. Nope. Let's throw him. I can, well, he's, he's gone now. Right. So we get to... Let's get up to that. Oh, where did you come from? Are you, you're still being thrown. <laughs> I'm noticing a lot more chests around here, too. So this is something we probably want. As strength... Um, I mean, not as much defense, but... Pff, as far as I'm concerned, we get one shot in anyway. This is a game I play if I really feel confident. And, like, this game, like you, you go in here, we don't want to stay in there long, obviously. You go in here with the expectation that you're probably going to die. No, no, no. Oh, oh well. We Gotta wait a minute. You see, the, the energy bar, stop going in there with the fish, my friend. That's not where you need to be. That is not your calling in life. Okay, so we, what a slimy meal. <laughs> we got, it, it, there's also synergies if you eat, like, the same things. You get bonuses and that kind of thing. So we see the, uh, we, we do see... The door up there. We need to find. Hey, you run. You know what's good for you. We need to find the the orb of leveling. It's also it's almost like it's almost like a uh, a given. You need to find you know, the orb to get stronger, so that as you progress, the enemies do get stronger. Let's throw this. Not get poisoned. Just <laughs> kidding. We'll get poisoned. That thing's stuck down there. So now we're gonna deplete ourselves of that. Uh, Magic, strength. Strength might be nice. Do damage with our regular weapon. No. We're doing heavy lifting. Fine. I know I'm mine. Easy. All right, let's not get <sighs> That's why I made the collision detection. Like, I was halfway in there. I should have hit that door and opened it real quick, but I was... It was not very quick. What can I say? We'll try one more here. Um... I don't know, man. <laughs> Can we do the daily? We'll try the daily. No idea. I, I sort of know what the poet does. He has the portal spell, which is exactly what you think it is. Four health. And that guy just looks like a monster. He has an explosive grenade. But that's gotta be good. Let's do it. I've never played the Tinker before. Was it, what was her name? Celerity Johnson? That's great. Okay, we did it. <laughs> Don't eat the ice ones. They kill you. Don't know what this guy does. Let's try hitting all the buttons. No spell, no spell. Up, down, left, right. Nope. Well. You hit our... <laughs> you hit our machine! You daredevil. Alright, well. We just gained infinite lives. Might as well eat the barrel goo. This is the level that takes us to the end, right? That's a potion of lightning. We should open this. You can open it by hitting it. You are having some issues, my friend. Allow me to help you. 
Yep, that, da, 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 da. that that trap is for you. Get in there. Ho, 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 ho. And there are some awesome trap synergies you can have too, if you're a clever person. So, so we need explosive grenade. The prime. I don't know what priming the grenade does. I'm I'm guessing you just throw it and it works. So here is an example of a trip line trap and the gas that expands. So we can and it killed something. It killed Art! Oh no. I am so sorry. I don't know what I've done. Do I, how do I use this? How do I? Can I fix it? <laughs> what have I done? There's the motor. I'm moving very slow, so... We did it. Can we use it? You get a splitting headache. We did it. <laughs> I don't know what he does. I'm sure he does something. With all certainty, he might do something. We're a bad swimmer. I am the world's <coughs> best spearman. So let's just casually open the doors and slam it. Alright. There's the door. Need that orb of leveling. that star does. We have to use magic on it, I think. Alright, well, let's eat our slimy meal. Now we go. And up we go. At least we can try water a good bit. And yeah, I'm, I'm really over overall impressed. I know the, uh, oh, it's right there. I, I know the, um, the game is unforgiving, but I'm very impressed with, like, the level design. Hey, I meant to throw that in. That's fine. You just... Do you be you? I threw it up here. Quia! No, that was the wrong button. Potion of poison. Okay. Scorpion, is that you? Okay. Maybe the. Uh, I'm gonna eat your friend. That's alright. Took his breastplate. Okay. Now we should have that. Yes, and we'll loot him. Where's he at? Shimmering amulet. Probably better than what we have. I think it increased our visibility, if I'm not mistaken. Smooth rapier. Well, it is better in, like, every aspect. Right, that guy's having some issues up here. Let's, uh... He's attacking enemies for us! That's what it does! That is amazing. Sharp halberd. Yeah, looks stronger. What was that? Oh, yeah. Hold on. We gotta take this potion. We gotta throw it at somebody. Maybe. Alright, we'll stash it. No, we want to keep our grenade. Sorry! I'm not sure exactly what the Orb of Leveling does. We're gonna... I mean, white is right, right? Such wonders. I don't know how you pounce. Oh, that was not right. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. We're gonna learn a spell. Flame Wave. Flame Wave is pretty good from what I remember. That's the L button now. Alright, we don't need that. Alright, let's get out of here. As you can see, the, the smoke from that potion is just, you know, perforating the room. And if it was a regeneration potion, then, like, everything in there gets just regenerated for a little bit. If it was a poison potion, then, you know, it, it's kind of neat how everything just works together. Alright, we're going in here. Hopefully good to see a spell here in a minute. Spent time repairing 14 Doom during the descent. De okay, gaining some hit points back. That's kind of neat. You are dry again. Wetness is a thing in this game. Oops, we want to do this. We want to take the skull and throw it. Not at us! You silly man. We can put the pipe you can put into other floors. Now we can I appreciate that. <laughs> the pipe you can... Sorry. You can put... Uh, like potions and stuff down on other floors. It has a weapon. <laughs> this thing is amazing. Buzzing megaton. You hate hammers. All right, so you just throw it right away. Right, I get it. I get it. We have a. We have literally like a bot that follows us around. Us out. The, not only is he a bot, he's like. Ah! 
Please open. Please open. You can roll your way out of this. Just not back into the drink, you idiot. <sighs> we did it. <laughs> it was our daily. We had a headache at the end of that. Well, my poor little robot friend just dancing around there. He is no T-1000. Daily failed. What's on? Alpha, you drag a guy hole. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this. Let's look at brief catacomb kids. I might play this more in the future. It it is really entertaining. It's like it takes some focus. Like I've made it the furthest with the poet because you use like the portal spell and you throw people into the drink and all that. And you, you make things work a bit better. That's just my strength. My friend is is very good at being the bully and just pouncing on things. But you know, to each his own. You'll find your own style in that game. Really anxious to see what the tinker has installed or in store for it later too. So once again, thanks for watching. Click the like button. Subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Let me know what you thought. And I will see you guys next time.